She asks us not to use her real name, so we call her Zara. It started seven years ago with painkillers that Zara took after she had surgery. But when her prescription ran out, she started taking cough syrup containing codeine. And soon, Zara became addicted. It's, it's bad. It's really bad. Like, I can sit down in one place and I would feel like I'm in a totally different place. Like, you know, sometimes I go somewhere and I don't even know how I get back home. I just wake up in the morning and I'm like, I'm just like, thank God I'm at home. Like, what if I was someplace else or something had happened to me? And then there's this anxiety. Like, you're, you feel yourself, you know, shaking. It's like there are voices in your head telling you to do something and then you're fighting with those voices. In Nigeria, companies have been importing codeine hydrochloride and adding it to cough syrup to suppress coughing. But it's addictive and pharmacists say it's not even necessary. So in early May, the government banned its importation and local production. Codeine has no place in cough therapy. So we can do without codeine. In fact, most hospitals don't treat cough with cough syrup with codeine. Usually you don't see it on prescriptions. Even before the ban, you don't see it on prescriptions because it doesn't really give, give you much. If you treat a patient with uh, cough syrup with codeine, it keeps coming back. Officials at a government-run rehabilitation facility in Kano say they've been admitting about six people daily since last year. Withdrawal can be violent and officials say they have to chain patients. It's to avoid recovering addicts from harming themselves or others. Nigerian lawmakers say about 3 million bottles of codeine are consumed every day in the two well, northern think, uh, states of Kano and Jigawa. Codeine cough syrup was sold on the streets of Kano before the government imposed ban, but now drug investigators say it's not easy to find. On the black market, the price of codeine has risen from about $3 to $7 for a medium-sized bottle. But drug investigators say they are working hard to stop the trade and are seizing more illegal supplies of the drug. In the past three months, authorities say they've seized more than 11,000 bottles of the banned cough syrup in Kano. We are doing everything humanly possible to ensure that we curtail to ensure that we cost supplies, supply and to ensure that we reduce demand. Pharmacists here say banning codeine is easy, but that there is more work to be done, keeping it off the streets and out of the hands of addicts. Wendy, about TLT World, Kano, Nigeria.